Moving on, Beyonce said that uh, she did not feel welcomed in country music. She revealed that her motivation behind releasing the upcoming uh, album, the country album, Cowboy Carter, she said, uh, to, she wrote a statement on Instagram that said, I feel honored to be the first black woman with the number one single on the Hot Country Songs chart. My hope is that years from now, the mention of an artist's race as it relates to releasing genres of music will be irrelevant. She said, it was born out of an experience that I had years ago where I did not feel welcome, and it was very clear that I wasn't. But because of that experience, I did a deeper dive into the history of country music and studied our rich musical archive. Nonetheless, it feels good to see how music can unite so many people around the world while also amplifying the voices of some of the people who have dedicated so much of their lives educating on our musical history. So, Hey, hey Brad, can you imagine if Beyonce remade Dolly Parton's 9 to 5, how awesome of a song that would be and put a line dance to it? Yeah, that would be crazy. I think she's doing Jolene, though. Yeah. But that damn, that damn, the the, the song 9 to 5, the way that song moves, that song Uh got a really, really nice move to it, and it it moves, you know. Yeah, Uh, that would be I I think that would be a great song for her. What if they tricking us and they going to do that one and not Jolene? Mm -hmm. Because I could see her doing working 9 to 5. Five. What a way to make a living. That's a great song. That's a great record. Yeah. That's kind of funky. All right, y'all. Well, we're going to wrap up the hot spot on that note while we working high. Nine to five. <laughs> six to ten. <laughs> well, try to some of them wake up calls at 8669-RICKY. That's 8669-R-I-C-K-E-Y. The time now is 26 minutes before the top of the hour. It's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.